Okay, here we are, back in the hummingbird with all my cronies. Oh, looks like I missed one. Oh, yep, he goes behind me. Whatever. It won't matter. Uh, 250 pounds ain't going to make that big of a difference. Actually, probably in this thing it would. Right, we're here on the mobile landing pad. Let's take off from here. All right, remember, as I add power, I gradually add left pedal and a little left cyclic. And of course forward cycling if I want to start flying forward. Okay, I'm going to save this one. Helipad. Oh, there it is! I'm gonna go down! High power. Oh, shit! Shit! Oh, fuck. Okay. So. Definitely, if rough landings had been on, that would have blown up on impact. However, uh, the descent had arrested enough by the time we landed to not blow up on impact. However, um, I'm pretty sure that helicopter was just going to keep on going down. No matter if I would have just left a full on, full on collective. Auto hover's on. A little dot signifies to me that we don't have very much forward airspeed. Okay, here we go. Center up on a perfect hover. All right, auto hover's on, so this should minimize the uh, pitching and rolling I do when I'm trying to do this. I should have done this the whole time. Power's coming out. Massive descent rate. 24, 20, 30, 32. We are going straight down like a rock. All right? Power's coming back in. Full power. Oh, man. <laughs> Completely killed all of my, uh... <laughs> killed all of my rotor speed. It actually decayed so much that I could see individual rotor blades. That's crazy. For some crazy reason that I didn't explode on impact, which just blows my mind. It took a second there. Whatever. It wouldn't be that way in freaking King of the Hill, I can tell you that much, man. You freaking touch anything barely. You're just dead. <laughs> um, well, you saw what happened there. I added full power back in, and we just kept going down. That is vortex ring state. VRS. Now, Corrective action. Like I already discussed, with the lighter version of the Hummingbird with nobody in it, that I couldn't get to truly VRS. The way to recover is to pitch forward, lower collective, right? So to initiate, I'm going to find a near perfect hover. I'm going to obtain a extreme vertical descent and then I'm going to add full power that will satisfy all my conditions for VRS we will enter and then after we enter VRS I will lower collective and pitch the nose forward uh, and to t when I do that I'll also take off auto hover so here comes the descent powers out there it is 30 Oh, fuck. Not enough. How the hell do I not blow up there? That was, that was strange. I don't know why it doesn't blow up there. That's Maybe it's because I have full, 
full collective? That might be why. I know I've blown up in King of the Hill with full collective on a descent, so this might be a quirk of uh of the single player I'm doing right now. Paramount is that forward airspeed. Remember, when you're a full load, um, lots of power is not going to do you too much good anyway. Let's try that again. Nosing over was the key there. Say so you want to bring it in for a landing behind this guy, though. You're much closer to the ground. What do you do then? Ah, tail strike. Well, you know, it's kind of hard to demonstrate. I must say it's a lot harder to demonstrate than I thought it was going to be. Uh, I have recovered successfully in the past um, in game. Uh, the best way to recover from VRS is to never enter it in the first place. So always keep your descent rate at a uh, uh, above six to seven meters per second um, and keep your power settings uh, moderate to uh, upper moderate if that makes sense don't don't try and land with full power um, full power is going to exacerbate the situation remember ground effect will cushion your landing All right so I'll do 70% power. No airspeed, ground effect will cushion it. Ground effect will cushion it. I don't really see it there, but. Out of ground effect hover. Alright, above 75%. Uh, A little below 75%. In ground effect, however, would be probably 70% right there. Well, there's the in ground effect hover. But uh, not much cushioning, huh? Maybe a little forward airspeed would have helped. Oh shit! <laughs> oh man, I hit the skids or a tail strike. Okay, well, um, well, I'm gonna say that concludes everything I have to talk to you today uh, regarding advanced flight model. Um, you know, I'm sure there's a little bit more that I haven't covered, but uh, just uh, get out there and practice. Consider some of the things I told you. Um, it's well worth the effort. The reward <laughs> of flying advanced flight model is the fun itself. That sounds kind of cheesy, but I just I personally really enjoy the challenge of it. I love the simulation of the helicopter physics. Um, 
in a couple months I'm going to get a chance to go to a helicopter simulator with no helicopter flight time experience mind you lots of helicopter flight time but not behind the stick uh, and see how well stuff like this <laughs> translates to real life so that'll be interesting and I'll be sure to let you know how that goes uh, I think my biggest challenge would be transmuting twisting with my wrist on a freaking joystick to pushing pedals on the deck that'll be strange oh not to mention pulling out a collective instead of just twisting a little throttle on my joystick so anyhow um, I hope you guys learned a lot I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did making it uh, when I upload this to YouTube there's not gonna be any thrills or frills um, it's just gonna be pretty straightforward uh, I don't have a brand, a YouTube brand. Uh, I don't have enough time to do stuff like that, to make money on YouTube. But um, I really, really enjoy Arma flying. So if you know anybody else who likes flying in Arma, or who has an interest in advanced flight model, uh, or first person flying, or both, <laughs> send them over to my channel and they can check it out. I'll try and upload some other videos of uh, first person flying over the AO above Altus and Stratus. Um, just to uh, keep anybody who's coming to the channel happy. Uh, again, though, I, I don't have as much time as I'd like to to do this. But uh, Anyway, I'm rambling. I'm not making much sense. Again, hope you enjoyed it. I liked making it. I hope you learned. This is Ender. Over and out.